everyone, The Flying Scotsman here. Welcome to this edition of The Flying Scotsman Christmas. Now, before we do anything, I would like to apologise right off of the bat for the um, awful sound quality you're hearing in this video. Um, I... Yeah, um, I don't... I, I mean, this... Firstly, I've lost the stand to my... Right, to my actual uh, professional uh, Samsung microphone. That said, this Microsoft webcam can record better sound, it's just that the uh, Microsoft Game Bar software has decided that um, it no longer wants to actually cooperate. I probably should try something else like Bandicam or, or uh, something, or Fraps or something like that. Um, that's something that I probably will look to do at some point. Um, but I was uh, needing to get this video out, so here we are. Anyway, what game are we playing? Well, this is a game that came out this year. Um, I think it's, um, you know, some it's a small-time developer at the very, very least. And it's one of the Simulator series, which has been kind of going this decade. You know, we've had um, everything from um, the... Well, we've obviously uh, the Simulator series, you know, has, has not been a series by any one person. You've you've had uh, things, you know, that have been around for decades, like Microsoft Flight Simulator, and and then you've had Train Simulator and stuff like that, and then more recently you've had tr uh, Euro Truck Simulator, American Truck Simulator, and then even more recent still you've had <laughs> derpy things like Goat Simulator. And uh, showering with my dad simulator. <clears throat> but um, this one is PC building simulator. And well, basically, it does what it says on the tin. Um, that came out earlier this year, but has actually had uh, quite a major overhaul um, recently. So um, this is the overhauled version that we're going to be playing today. Um, I've been playing this game since. I want to say this, I'm not, can't remember precisely when, but I know it's certainly been the springtime, I believe. Um, it's a pretty good game, and, uh, you know, quite addictive, but, you know, it, it, I guess it is what it is. And to people who do computer work, really, it's, it's almost like a busman's holiday. And that, you know, it's like you, you go to work, you do computer building and repair and what have you, and then you come home and sim play a simulator where you do, where you build and repair computers. So it's, um, but it's, I don't know, I, I quite enjoy it. It's it's quite fun to play. You know, it, it doesn't take too long to load up. It's, it's uh, which is uh, more than can be said for some games these days. But, uh, so here we go, PC building simulator. So. Let's continue where I left off. Now, I'm not sure where I left off on this game, but um, I can guarantee you it's probably somewhere a bit bun fringe. Um, so, here's my workshop, so to speak. Um, so, you start off with this workshop. I'm, I'm actually at level 13 right now, so um, I'm a fair way into this game. I did make it to level 25 before the game got its overhaul and I had to start again. So, you know, I've unlocked things and bought things like um, PC Bay, which is where you can, you know, kind of buy and sell used computer parts. But for the most part, I'm repairing computers or building computers or upgrading computers as per people's request. So I have... Uh, I have this computer here, which I bought on PC Bay. This is a, a new thing that you've been able to do by entire computer systems. That you know, I mean, this says there's some broken parts, but I, for the life of me, can't see what is broken. Um, so I've installed some antivirus software. I've installed some benchmarking software. So. And there are licensed makes in this game, in this game, you know, so you've got NZXT, I know, I know I'm using the American 
pronunciation, but it, it just kind of sounds a lot better than saying NZXT. Although, to be honest, I, I do tend to use them interchangeably, which is a bit odd. Um, you've got NZXT, you've got Zotac, you've got um, MSI, Corsair, Cooler Master, uh, Gigabyte, Asus, Asus uh, Republic of Gamers, um, I'm just trying to think what else you've got. Um, Raging Tech, I've never heard of that. Um, obviously you've got AMD, Intel, Nvidia. You've got A-Data. <coughs> you know, and all kinds of uh, little kind of things like that. Anyway, so let's let's have a look at uh, let's let's have a look at uh, what we can do. We've got a couple of PCs here that need worked on. I think I've got the parts now. So uh, let's see. Um, this was one in a 3D Mark score of 3955. These are kind of the requests that people have. There's also kind of more subtle requests that you pick up on on the emails. So. If I have the parts for this, then I will have the extra 4 gigs of memory. And indeed, I do. And it goes. Um, also, you have a budget to work to as well. So, I mean, this, this machine's got a 1060 FTW2 card in it. Um, I believe, actually, that um, the guy said he wanted Gigabyte parts. So I have a Gigabyte Aorus graphics card here that um, I can give to him. Um, and a lot of them will generally want new parts as well. <coughs> so, pop that in. And uh, there you go. Just need to connect that up. I'll pop the side panel back in. So you also have a, a wee BIOS here. So I'm going to turn on XMP Extreme Memory Profile. Automatically overclocks your RAM to its rated stable speed and voltage. This is the easiest way to whoops, overclock... Um... Your memory. No, changing your base clock will disable extreme memory profile. Excellent. So I take it that's what the um, I take it that's what a lot of uh, police departments in uh, right-wing countries use extreme profiling. Um, just not necessarily memory. Okay, well this machine seems to this machine seems to run. I don't know what and it's broken. I might, I might need to rebuild it completely to find out. Sometimes it is a case of, you know, what the hell's wrong with it. <clears throat> what I've started doing on this now, just as a force of habit, is just installing antivirus software and benchmarking software on any machine I touch, just to keep my bases covered. Of course, I'm going to have the one guy that's like, please don't benchmark. Okay, so there's no viruses on here, but apparently the machine's monitored. <clears throat> mm. And Tina's just bought in some... She's just done a wee shop at Lush, brought in some nice soap, and so my hands smell quite nice. I just thought you'd all like to know that. <coughs> okay, so I've fixed that machine by adding an fan.
Okay, so I've got Lucky Right out here, so what I can do... Oh, by the way, I did sell the PC that your business comes with. I used one of the machines I picked up on PC Bay, put a solid state drive in it, and a couple of other things so I can have a quicker machine here. Not that I really need it, but <clears throat> I don't know, it's just something I fancied doing. So here's where you've got your jobs, by the way. Um, oh, look, and then, and then we've got a PC build opportunity. So um, we could build a computer. So um, let's see if we can do that as well. Um, excellent. So this machine has basically got everything it needs. So I can dump that back out in the corridor. See, gigabyte components are meant to be the da bomb. My new PC now has a benchmark score of 3955. And they listened when I said I liked gigabyte parts. Oh. Please place some plastic green cables, might look a bit nicer. Okay, um, <clears throat> it's a good job I read that actually, because she doesn't necessarily want a benchmark, but um, she doesn't want these turquoise cables either. That's a shame. I think they're um, a nice fit for the case, even though they're not exactly the same colour. Oh well. You know what they say, the customer is always right, and I know you're probably all commenting now. Um, but, you know, I mean, this is just like real life, really. You know, if someone said, oh, I want green cables from a PC, well, I'd have to go and get them. And I would. Even if someone said, I want brown cables in my computer, I'd get them. I really don't like the colour brown. Right, let's... Let's wire everything up. There we go. Excellent, and the system boots. PC died for no reason, but they fixed it, and they gave me new, lovely new plastic green cables. <clears throat> I'll sort that out later. Now, some machines can come in and be really, really nice and dusty, so uh, this is one of those. So, let's... Uh, Let's get the spray can out and start dusting. I will I will say though, I can't even mind who said it, but I think it might have been a nostalgia nerd, but I could be wrong. Where's my option to build and repair and service for it, sexes? That's the only problem I really have with this game is it's um but I think it's quite funny, actually, because, you know, even things, you know, people will, will come to you with things like, oh, my PC's getting a wee bit long in the tooth and I need an upgrade. 
And what they've got is something like a Skylake Celadon or something. Now, I don't know. I, I, um, I certainly don't believe uh, that uh, Skylake is... Well, I mean, it, it, a lot of Skylake systems and Cabby Lake systems, yeah, maybe now. Well, a lot of Skylake systems now will probably be starting to hit the three-year mark. And at one time, that was about the right time to upgrade. But now... Well, I mean, I still use Ivy Bridge, so what the hell do I know? So, I mean, you know, an Ivy Bridge computer on here would be basically... In, in the universe of PC building simulator, I may as well be using a Commodore VIC-20 or something. But I suppose I can't, you know, I suppose I can't demand every piece of hardware, personal computer hardware ever made be included in this game. I, w I, would, I wouldn't mind, uh, you know, having, you know, fun with the retro machines in here. I know I could have gotten the auto standoff tool as well. You can get tools to make these things easier, including an auto standoff tool, which will basically just put the standoffs in and then you just kind of screw the motherboard in. I'm waiting to get to level 14 and then I can get the auto screw tool and then that will make everything easier to screw down. There we go. <clears throat> and then I can go to PC parts and then here's all the parts that um, the current user owns. I believe they're using black cables, but what I think I will do is Yep, I'll just go back to the black cables because um, he's not specified another color and I have black cables so that's what he can get I think I've, um, if I wanted to use that slot, I should have done, put the memory in before I dropped the cooler on it. Never mind. There we go. Excellent. Now I know I've not done any uh, overclocking or anything. Overclocking? Any benchmarking? No, I don't want to overclock a machine that needs. <laughs> Okay, so these guys want all in one water cooling. They want a benchmark score of 3,000 odd. Uh, what CPUs in here? Well, we can find out while I'm installing the water cooling. Ah, excellent. 
I'm not going to be replacing that then. There's, there's no need to replace the CPU. It's an 8 car 1700X. So the stuff that I know that I can do right now in, um, whoops, I've, um, well, I'm just going to have a look at, um, Sometimes I kind of take a guess at what parts will fit as well. Um, is this our old Excellent, excellent. Starting to get some of the unlocked processors. That's good. I, I've got a PC build that I can actually do now. That is very good. I'm really quite glad about that. Um, Unfair Stuart, right, okay, so I have uh, 500 less 100, so I reckon, I'm not sure I have blue ribbon cables, all I have is blue sleeved. Oh no, I do have uh, plain blue cables. Well done. I actually remembered to buy those. Let's have a look. 425, right. That was the graphics car card that I bought, but not the cooler. Let's see, can I... Do I have the uh, cheaper cooler? Bloody hell, I do as well. There's me being a complete ung. So let's reapply the thermal spooge. No, I'm not installing Windows XP on here. What I like to do with oh, uh, with benchmarked uh, benchmarking projects is, well, first of all, check that me extreme memory profiling is on. Also, check to see if there's a solid state drive in the machine that's not being used. Because things like that can make a difference. In fact, I've earlier on in the game, I had, um, I actually did have a um, a benchmarking uh, upgrade project to do. That all I literally had to do was to turn on XMP and install the operating system to the SSD, even though I'd been given a budget. I didn't need to use it. I was able to be like, yeah, your current reg can actually reach those benchmarks. And I didn't even get a bad review, which is something else actually um, that's new in this game, the, the review scores. So you, if you buy and install the reviewing app, oh, this computer's got all the viruses, then you get 
nice review scores. There we go. And this is a diagnose and fix job. Now this case type can be a bit difficult to work with and a bit difficult to see if it's dusty on first appearance. So it's a good idea to open it up and just give it a wee squishy with the uh, with the air can. Come on! And there we go, no CPU found. Imagine if computers did that for real. Error, no CPU found. Thanks for letting me get in the problem. That'd make it so much easier for first time system builders as well. You get people like me going, well, 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 when I, when, when I learned to build systems, I had to be a stupid people all on my own. And, 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 yeah, we didn't have these things. I mean, we just had to work it out with beep codes and it was better. Actually, I hope I'm not that bad. <laughs> Luckily, I sometimes I can have stock from, you know, accidentally ordering the wrong part or something. Or I can forget to order a part urgently when I need it, so I've got to go and order it again, and then I end up with spares that way, and that's how you be a stupid spago and lose money. But sometimes it can help, like now, you know, having to advance by a day. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, and that's another thing about these cases. How how can you... I've, I've got to be honest. How the hell can anyone live with a case like this where you've got to unscrew the back every time you want to move from the bloody USB ports? And is there USB ports on the front of this thing? Like, in, in real life, I'm pretty sure that this is an actual case. Or is it or is it just meant to take the mech out of Alienware? That could be it. Because there's, there's some parts that actually exist and some that don't. I feel that this might be one of those parts that's there to basically like take the mech out of Alienware or emulate them or whatever. Okay, so we're done with this. I saw they ran the benchmark with a score of 3,645 and no one has stolen my identity since. I think that's a good thing. Okay, what? What does this system need? Ah yeah, this has been hanging around my workshop for too long and it's time, it's time I let it go. So we're going to install a new motherboard. I've got machines that have been hanging around that have not got a time limit on them that I've been waiting to get parts unlocked and to be honest I unlocked this motherboard forever ago and this machine should have been out of here and it hasn't been so let's let's sort that out now
excellent. Right. Now what you can do with broken boards is you can either sell them for a fiver, or you can put them up on PC Bay now. So here, buy my broken board. I wonder if there's a virtual. Um, I wonder if there's a virtual UXW Bill or Elmo Three in this game that would be like. Well, there you have it. Or suffice it to say, I'm going to recap this board and hopefully it'll work. So there you have it. Well, suffice it to say, having said that, there you have it. <coughs> Excellent. So we've got a new board. So I'm going to throw in a new process. Well, no, I'm not going to throw in a new processor. I'm going to throw the processor back in. Um... This memory might have been installed. In fact, it was. It was installed in the last slot, if I remember. Because of OCD, why don't I just install it that way? I think, if I remember rightly. No, it wasn't. It was green. Of course, it was. It was. I can't remember now if it was green or lime green. I think it was just green. Grind. What? Wait a minute. How? How does that even work? Okay, that was weird. This machine's ready. Get out of my bloody office. install the operating system on the SSD. Oh well. <clears throat> I'm going to teach you how to use a computer properly. There we go.
But I believe now that we have... Oh, yikes, nope, that's not the system that I wanted. And then what we've got here as well, if people build a computer or want a machine built to play particular games, they'll say, you know, like for example in this case League of Legends and then a recommended or minimum spec. So I can look it up on here. Obviously it'll tell me whether the current machine I'm running it on can do it. This one can't. <coughs> and I need an i7 7700 k and an rx 580 neither of which i believe i've unlocked yet so i believe i've fixed this machine now as well Okay, so something's not quite right in here. Ah, some awesome plastic purple cables. So after agonizing over that, I've installed the wrong bloody cables in here. Well done. Right. <clears throat> Also, I wonder how what the health of this hard drive is. So, I'm going to take it out. Yep, it's broke. Oops. So I need a Seagate three terabyte hard drive. Also, I can look at the calendar to see when things are coming. So I've got memory coming. Complete job. Uh, make my PC better. Well, I can do this one now. So this guy wants a score of three, four, four, five. It's got a reasonably good graphics card, so. I'm guessing what he wants, $290, uh, is I reckon we're going to spend some money, well obviously we're going to spend 70 bucks on an all-in-one water cooling solution. So let's start buying stuff in for tomorrow. So the cheapest water cooler, good. And... A CPU and then sometimes we can work out how much we should spend on an upgrade and from the price we can work out what that upgrade should be so 290 less 70 is 220 now the graphics card in there is a 970 golden edition now I know we're not gonna get a better card for that amount of money 
So the only thing really is the processor. And um, we can get that. We can get um, a CPU uh, for around, can we? Maybe, yep, 175 bucks. There we go. Bit less than I would have, well, but sometimes it can be a bit less in the budget, but hey ho. Um, <clears throat> 1080 gaming Z, 8 gigs, and here's PC Bay. Um, now, 4351, I'm looking to play, looking for a new PC. I'm looking to get at least 4351 in benchmarks. Can you help me? Well, I'll see what I can do. So, let's see, I can get a 1800X. What I like to do actually sometimes is, I mean, I'm going to do this. I've taken off the bloody water cooler, haven't I? Um, I'm just going to do something here which I wouldn't normally do. It's going to cost 30 quid extra. But what I can... Oh my goodness. Right. CPU cooling. Liquid cooled. Right. Let's get everything that I need here. Oh yeah, I need that three terabyte hard drive. So let's get everything that I that I don't need for this new PC build in one shot. Right, and then what I can do is I have this computer build. There we go. And I've got a budget of £1,455. So what I could do is <clears throat> now this will obviously add $30 on or 10 What What I'll do is I'll just put same day delivery just for now. It'll add $100 on. But I can just remove that. So five, so four hundred and forty so far for a CPU and a cooler. Main board. Get some memory. I can put that graphics card. So I've got three hundred left to spend. Make that 200. Make that 120. And then we'll put this case. So it's 1,460. Right. So Sir might have overspent.
so we'll put this case instead. So I've spent right on the money. And then what we'll do is we will do I'll leave the office, I'll come back and I'll do some of the model's jobs and then we'll leave it there because this playthrough is already dragged on by quite a bit. Oops, I put the M board. There we go, and we've diagnosed and fixed the problem. <clears throat> That's why we installed the operating system to the solid state drive. Because the other drive was broken. Let's just check. Um, yep, it's still set to boot from the solid state drive. Oh yeah, I got this case second hand. Nice. I quite like this case. It has like a kind of a winged kind of clamshell design almost. Anyway, let's get that system the bloody hell out of my office. Good, I'm glad you're happy. And then I've got a whole load more emails in. So what I can do with these. Is start these on their many merry way, upgrading. I can build the other system. Oh, sugar. Yeah, this is the one with the upgraded CPU that we decided. Whoops.
excellent. <clears throat> and now, Oops, and I did want to restart then. And someone's been visiting naughty websites. I forgot what processor's in here, but we can find out in the BIOS. Error! No CPU found! Yay! That's, that's, that's good. Intel Pentium G4520. Now, do I have any of these in stock? None that are not used. Now, does this person really care about used parts? Some do, some don't. I like nice and shiny new components. Well, that that uh, tells me that then. Right, now for the PC building part of PC building simulator. So we're going to build a machine from scratch. So to, in order to do this, we need to get one of the sticky labels that's been generated by the build request. So we're going to do this one. Benchmark score of... Well, first one is PC can boot to operating system. Pretty standard requirement, really. Uh, second one is benchmark score of 4351. Third, oh, and uh, the third requirement is install AIO water cooling. Okay, good. So I'll put that on the same desk as this case. That's good. And just before I do anything else, I'm going to tell this machine to get out of my bloody office. <clears throat> so... Normally with a real computer, I'd start with the motherboard, put the processor in, put the heatsink on, but because this is a game, let start off with the case. I'm gonna, here's all the stuff that I bought yesterday, including that lower profile motherboard. Whoops. Hopefully it'll do the job. Now later on this game you do get to mess about with RGB LEDs and what have you and some customers will even request that uh, they be set to specific colours. Okay so this brief says hello I'm looking to pay for a new PC. Okay, well, pay for one. Doesn't mean I have to build you one, because you only wanted to look to pay for one. No, I'm getting on. 
Um, I'm looking for at least 4,351 th 4, in benchmark. Can you install an all-in-one water cooler, AIO, um, in it? It's urgent, so please hurry. I worry about used parts from K. Scott. Now, that basically says to me, I want all new stuff. Now, he's not actually given me any any kind of clue as to what type or colour cabling he would like. So, I'm just going to put blue in there because it's a blue case. And blue, well, it's a nice colour. It's my favourite colour. Now, if this was, um, <clears throat> and I could, I mean, if this was a real build, I'd probably use a black cable. You know, I'd probably ask, I would probably actually ask, you know, if there's any particular type of case the customer wanted, and then maybe show them what we might have available. Okay, so I've joined the two fans. I've, I've plugged both fans together and then into the motherboard. Excellent. Right. Good. Okay. Good. Some nice fast memory. Um, storage. I bought an M.2 SSD, so I probably should have waited to fit the graphics card until the SSD was installed. Because this is one of those fancy ones that mounts directly to the motherboard. Although I have to say, given how difficult it was to to actually install my um, RX 480 into my system. I don't think I'd want to be having to remove the graphics card to put new storage in there. Ugh. Right. And to make the whole thing go, we need a power supply, so we're just going to use this um, this Sheen Power King 600. Okay, they're still missing parts, the water cooler. Now the water cooler, there's fans here, I'll leave those here. The water cooler can mount to one of the uh, fan mounts on the front of the case, so to do that, I've just had to take the front of the case off. And now I'm just gonna install this Cooler Master liquid cooler. And here we go. And now we're coming to the end of this build. Just a case of, I'll put the case together. Well, some of it. There we go. And the RAM can run at the full 3200 megahertz clock speed. Look how quick things are in an M.2 SSD.
nice new system. And now we get to see the benchmark. Now this is actually based upon the actual 3D Mark benchmarks. I did run this on my system and my score wasn't actually too bad. I think um, I think it's because I now have an RX 480, which um, I actually got my RX 480 in October because um, Nvidia had completely bun fringed the drivers, so to the 1050 Ti, so I just ended up, you know, going for a, a 480. Six zero three four. Well, I would say that this more than exceeds expectations. So I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping whoever ordered this PC is happy with it. This new PC is lovely. Well, that settles that then. So, I think what I will do is I will leave this here. And I will save my game. And there you have it. So, I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. And please stay tuned for more episodes of TFS Christmas. Thank you for watching.